And today's game is... Gates of the Ancient was released in the second half of 2021 exclusively on the Commodore 64. It was created by Dr. Mortal Wombat, who also did the excellent recently released C64 shoot-em up, Plekthora. The game itself is a throwback to the classic space exploration genre that I played and loved so much. The basic plot of the game has you as a regular space jockey who happens to find an ancient artifact in space. You then use it, which opens up a wormhole to another galaxy. You're now stuck somewhere in the great deep and have to navigate your way home. When you download the game, it comes with a nifty PDF instruction manual. I'd highly suggest reading it first. You're gonna need to know a few basic keyboard functions. But besides that, it's very easy to get into and play, which is usually the opposite of this genre. Once you start playing, the gameplay involves three major components. Battles, exploration, and trading. These three components help you move from galaxy to galaxy, help you upgrade your ship, and help you survive attacks by pirates, aliens, and robots. This game is a lot more focused than, say, Elite, for example. Initially, you're on a path, but after a few jumps, things get bigger and more open. It's a good way to ease you into a massive game. Your main functions are waypoints in the bottom right of the screen, and each new galaxy has a new set of them, but you don't know what you will encounter. It could be a minefield, another warp gate, a trading post, and a whole lot of other possibilities. Along the way, you'll no doubt be attacked, and this is where the excellent fast-paced space battles occur, with fully shaded 3D models moving at a cracking pace. Your ship's lasers are initially pretty weak to begin with, but fortunately enemies only need a couple of good hits to be destroyed, which eliminates one of the most tedious aspects of the genre, when battles play themselves out for way too long. As you explore waypoints and fight, you'll be picking up cargo left by dead pirates or come across a minefield, which if you shoot all the mines, you get money. Money and cargo can be used at trading posts to buy upgrades for your ship, like better propulsion, lasers, shields, and more. You'll also come across artifacts, which have special abilities like opening up warp gates and other functions, and they'll also aid you big time in making your way back home eventually. The game successfully manages to combine my three favorite space games into one neat package, Elite, Space Rogue, and Wing Commander. It's got the grand, although much more focused, exploration and trading of Elite, the wonderful 3D graphics, presentation, and story aspect of Space Rogue, and the fast-paced battle stylings of Wing Commander. The best feature, though, is the password system. If you die, you'll get a code to start your new game, and all your money and artifacts will be carried over. In that sense, you never feel like you just wasted an hour of your life and the nature of continuing to build up your ship is enforced and is a wonderful addition. The game is also free and is PAL compatible, although it supposedly also runs on NTSC at a slightly faster rate. This is a very impressive game and it's nice to see someone do a genre like this on the C64 as most new games are usually of the arcade style variety. If you like the classic games I mentioned earlier then this should be your cup of tea.